Hello everyone, this is Nitesh and today we are going to talk about a problem which, which most of us, like the test automation engineers, are facing it. This problem is related to um, if you are working on Selenium and uh, you want to automate with the Chrome browser, right? There is a compatibility issue, right? Let's see that. Let's see that you. This is July end 2023, and you must have observed that uh, with with the latest Selenium. Um, you may be facing some issue on the Chrome side. So for example, if you see Selenium's official website, uh, the version is uh, 4.10.0. If you're working with Java and if you're working with any other programming language also, the version is same. And uh, if you have put it into your um, Maven project dependencies, you must have done it like this, or even if you are working with simple Java project, you may have added it as a, in your build path library and a particular version of Selenium Java client, right? So as of now, if we will work with Chrome driver, earlier it used to work. Earlier, if you just write, Web driver driver is equals to new Chrome driver. It used to open the Chrome uh, till till version one one four. As of now, I have Chrome one one five version, and till one one four, it was working fine because your Selenium Java client was able to handle uh, the compatibility between the driver and, and the EXE present in your system. So it was working fine. But the day uh, this Chrome 115 has come, there is some issue. So when I'm working with the Chrome driver, you must have observed that either it will ask you to, to um, select a profile or it may be there will be a compatibility error will come, right? That was happening. That was happening. So, so the solution to this is either one of the solution is till this problem is resolved, right? If you'll work with Firefox, this will work. Okay, one way. Another thing is, uh, I'll show you the workaround that how you can work with Chrome for testing, which is uh, now has come. So we'll we'll quickly see the real code how we can add. Uh, Chrome for testing um, how to work with a particular binary, that part we'll see. As of now with Firefox, it's working fine. But if you actually want to work with the Chrome only, we have to see the solution. Okay, let's wait. So now uh, Chrome has specified in their website, if you open Chrome driver dot chromium dot org download page. There they have specified that if you are using Chrome version one one five or newer, please consult this particular page, the Chrome for testing availability dashboard. So now onwards, Google Chrome they have provided a separate browser for testing. So when you will install this browser, you will be having you know, a, a T, uh, you know, icon in the Chrome itself. It's like this. Moreover, if you want to use it, right? So you have to go to their page and I'll, if I'll open this, this will show me that there are binaries available and there are drivers available, right? So if I go here, it is showing me that, uh, the versions provided here, stable version, upcoming is this, right? And there are beta versions. So it's better you use this stable version as of now and keep an eye of what is happening next here, right? And probably like in the next version also, you know, you, you have to do the same thing what we are doing today. But from the Selenium side, 
we can expect that they will release another version here 4.11 which will resolve the driver and the binary management part okay but as of now you have to reach here click on this table and get two things you have to get two things one is uh, the chrome binary okay based on your system you have to select this url and download the zip file second thing you should get is chrome driver so for me let's say if i have windows 64 machine i will get this i'll download from this path and then i will download the chrome driver also two things you have to get okay chrome exe you need to uh, install for your you know browser execution right where you will execute it driver you know that you you must have a driver in your system by which the instructions will be sent okay so driver communicates with the real uh, browser it's like this okay so what 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 is the thing you have to do in your code simple what if you remember earlier you used to do system dot set property same thing in the property you have to provide key and value so that is web driver dot room dot driver and the path where that is present so i have downloaded the driver and i have kept it in let's say a folder called browser driver so i'll copy this path okay the whole path uh, from here this is the driver right so i'll copy this and i'll put it here and the chrome driver dot exe it is so i'll write chrome driver dot exe first thing now still it will not work because this exe will work with a particular binary a particular chrome version that is chrome for test so you have to create chrome option where you can set the binary so chrome options let's say cop is equals to a uh, new chrome option okay and here you can add cop dot what you can say set binary and the path for that okay so where is my binary available i'll go here this is the binary available with me if i go here this is this is your exe okay or the binary we are saying here chrome right so this is the part where we have chrome.exe i'll go here and here we will provide the path this one chrome dot yes but this time when you are done with adding the option you have to pass the chrome option to your chrome driver object right so i'll pass it like cop here that's it so these are the thing you have to do one is if i'll comment it here adding driver okay set up the driver path and all and sec second option is create chrome option where you can set a lot of other things also right if you have used chrome option it's it's related to a lot of other things like whether you want to use it in headless mode or you know your download path a lot of things you can do this is just one of the things we are setting the binary okay and this is where you are providing binary path that's it now let's execute this 
and this should work in Chrome as well. So if I'll run this and I'll say, uh, run Java application, it's working fine now. It's opening the Chrome browser and it's opening yahoo.com. So that's it, what I wanted to show, enjoy.